Well, greetings once again. This is Dr. Bill Bailey, and this is the Chrome Snake Cast. We're talking about all things Chrome, Chromebooks, Chrome OS, anything chromey. <laughs> and so I'm glad you could join us for this edition of the Chrome Snake Cast. We are proud members of the Tech Podcast Network, techpodcast.com. If it's tech, it's right here on uh, the Chrome Snake Cast. Start to say Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon, but that's because I normally do that show every week and so that gets stuck in my mind but chromist is why we're here the chrome operating system first of all you need to know that the rumors of chrome's death are premature (laughs) though as i've said before chrome is here to stay and it's of course based on linux and linux is definitely here to stay so i encourage you to check out chrome the os Uh, This is an article from early in November. Chrome OS is here to stay. This is from the Google Chrome OS blog. And, of course, they're trying to uh, quell the rumors, excuse me, of all uh, that has been said in the press concerning Chrome being merged into Android. And so they're saying that Chrome is about to die. Well, nothing can be further from the truth there. New Chromebooks coming out every day. And there's some exciting things on the Chrome front. So from the Chrome uh, OS blog from Google, uh, it says, Over the last few days, there's been some confusion about the future of Chrome OS and Chromebooks based on speculation that Chrome OS will be folded into Android. While we've been working on ways to bring together the best of the operating systems, there's no plan to phase out Chrome OS. And I don't know about you, but I'm glad to hear that because Chrome is becoming more powerful and more useful all the time. They update it frequently. All right, now, how do you turn your old laptop, and I'm talking about old laptop, into a Chromebook? Well, there is software to do that. It's called uh, Neverware's Cloud Ready. Cloud Ready can turn your old notebook, and I'm talking about the one you've had stuck in a box somewhere that ran Windows XP, you know, something that you don't ever even want to fool with again as far as Windows is concerned. Well, you can install Neverware's Crowd Ready, and it will turn it into effectively a Chromebook. In other words, the Chrome OS, which is, uh, you know, released into the open source world, uh, this organization has taken that and added drivers and so forth for the older Chromebooks. Uh, older net tops, uh, laptops, what I'm trying to say. Uh, net books, as a matter of fact, come to mind, like the old Acer netbook. That would be an excellent candidate to turn into a Chrome OS uh, system. So, forgive my tongue tripping there. I like water because it keeps my mouth lubricated. And it doesn't dry out that way. So uh, it is Linux, of course, as I said. Chrome is based on Linux. And so, and it is open source. So Cloud Ready is an excellent uh, system to take these old netbooks and notebooks and laptops <laughs> and convert them into the equivalent of a Chromebook. Now, this is an article again from November. Uh, I've been kind of sitting on some of these for a while before doing another Chroma Snetcast, but uh, I just felt like it was time to get one out there. Uh, this is Long Battery Life is Promised for the New HP Chromebook. The HP Chromebook 14 promises nine hours of battery life per charge. Effectively, that would be a whole day of using your Chromebook. And it does look like a very nice Chromebook. HP launched its first-generation Chromebook called the Chrome 14. The new computer is aimed at giving users a premium experience with HD screens and long battery life in a thin computing platform with colorful designs. The machine is offered in turbo silver, turbo silver, and sky blue colors and starts at 3.94 pounds, making it very portable. And the article, of course, is in the Chromist blog, as you can see there on the screen, chromis.com. I encourage you to read the entirety of these articles to uh, get all the information uh, as we're just kind of hitting the high spots here. Now, there has been a new Google Chrome stick introduced. 
if you've got an HD TV, you can take this Chrome stick, plug it into the back of your TV, and turn it into a Chromebook-like computer. Uh, this is Google and Asus coming together to launch the $85 Chrome bit. Now, I've seen them even cheaper than $85, uh, and it is a Chrome OS desktop on an HDMI stick. This is pretty cool. The $85 Chrome bit is a 75 gram or 2.6 ounce stick that you can plug into any HDMI port, port whether it's a regular computer uh, on a large TV in your living room, uh, or I suppose you can even plug it into a monitor. There was an HDMI uh, input monitor. So it comes with 2 gig of RAM. It uh, has 16 gig of onboard storage. And basically, the cool thing, as you can imagine, is turning your HDTV particularly into a Chromebook and being able to play directly on the big screen uh, anything that's on the web. Now, that's pretty cool. Uh, very similar to what you would do with a uh, Chromecast by casting it to the screen. Well, you can do this with the Chrome stick uh, by just putting it up on the screen because you're surfing the web with your TV. That's pretty cool. All right, this is an article that I encourage you to read because I can't go into detail on it. And that is hidden Chrome settings that you may like. 16 hidden Chrome settings that are worth tweaking. Now, uh, this is from Gizmodo uh, Field Guide by David Neald, and it's talking about the Chrome colon slash flags page. He says it's a strange and wonderful trove of hidden settings for Google's browser. It lets you peek under the hood of the application and tinker around with some experimental options not yet ready for prime time. Here are 16 of the most useful flag settings you may want to tweak. And let me just give you uh, a kind of an overview of some of them here. You can enable automatic spelling correction. You can enable multilingual spell checker. You can enable download resumption. So if your download gets stopped, then instead of starting over, you can just resume. Uh, download status of the notification center. Enable password generation. Enable fast tab window close. Save passwords automatically. And on and on. Lots of good information in this article. You can go to chromis.com, read it there, or you can click on the link and read it directly from Gizmodo because they have additional screenshots and so forth there. So all kinds of good information. I trust you're getting a Chrome book for Christmas. That would be a great idea or giving one to someone else. Another great idea. So remember to join us again for all things shiny and chromey. And until next time, remember that the shiny is right here in the Chromis Netcast.